developing. This picture posted to social media has a Brevard County student facing charges now. As you can see, it looks like a high-powered weapon right there, but deputies say the gun turned out not to be real. But it was posted along with threats of opening fire. As he Castro's live at Edgewood Junior Senior High School this morning in Merritt Island, and investigators responded quickly to this one, Ezzy. They really did, Bridget. Uh, Brevard County deputies got here to the school and they were able to locate that student and arrested that student yesterday. And this is a picture by the Brevard County Sheriff's Office showing what looks like a gun, but they say it's a replica firearm. Now, deputies say the student allegedly posted the picture writing, on my way to the Edge, uh, Edgewood basketball game. Now, investigators were able to recover the fake weapon and the Sheriff's Office said the threat is is no longer considered to be credible. Now, Sheriff Wayne Ivey sent out a statement last night thanking all the investigators who responded and wrote, today's case is a perfect example of what happens when we all work together to keep our schools safe. Now, back out here live, the student was taken to the juvenile detention center and is now facing charges this morning. Those charges are uh, for making a written threat to kill or injure. Live in Brevard County, Ezzy Castro getting results, News 6.